Hey everybody, Spencer Jones here with Jones Into Good Fit and our live cooking show. Uh, we are continuing our series of this healthy eating, of course, right? That's what Jones Into Good Fit is about, but also our summer series of our summer recipes. And today we have a delicious dinner recipe for all of you. I'm really excited to share. It is light, it is delicious, and your family is just going to go crazy for it. And here's one thing that I love about uh, today's dinner that I'm sharing and I would love to make this happen so any of my uh, fishermen friends who are out there uh, let's make this happen somewhere in the future here let's let's make this happen so today's recipe is a swordfish uh, a sort of grilling the swordfish and then putting it on a lovely bed uh, of arugula and spinach salad with some extra fruit in it it's going to be amazing uh i i'm so excited to share it so one thing i thought would be fun to do with my fisherman friends is let's get together let's go out let's uh let's catch some fish right it doesn't have to be swordfish it can be any kind of fish let's go catch something and then we'll bring it back and we'll do a live cooking show cooking it and you know caught it that day fresh boom making it for dinner for everybody that would be an amazing show I, I would love it. If that's something you'd love to be part of and be part of the Jones in Fort series, let me know. Put it in the comments below. Uh, we're traveling all over the country. We have a couple big things. We got Jones in for Lake Superior. We got uh, Jones in for Canada, Lake Erie coming up here. And we also got one later this summer uh, coming out, a whole mini series of Jones in for inshore Louisiana fishing. So that's going to be amazing. Maybe we can make some redfish. Mm mm mm. We're also testing out a new light today. Um, some of you commented on the pictures of which one you think light works. Let me know what you think about this light, the whole lighting here and of the food that it does. Let me know. Um, I'm really curious to see what you think about that. So yeah, uh, I'm kind of blinded as I'm looking at my camera, so uh, we'll see. I can read comments. Uh, Robert, I'd like to see some uh, fresh uh, Caviche? Is that how you say that? I'm not really sure. Oh man, I, you know, Robert, let's get together in Texas. We'll go have some fun. We'll do fishing. We'll cook it live. Healthy eating. It'll be awesome. Uh, so that'd be a lot of fun to do. Okay, so today, um, oh, well, quickly before we do this, please share the video. Share it with your friends and your family. It's really easy. Just click right below, right there, right? Click below and say share. Boom. Check out to Spencer Jones. He's crazy. Just a lot of weird hand motions all the time. My wife's rolling her eyes because she knows it's true. All right, so here we go. I have the grill going. The grill is preheated at about a medium high heat. We're obviously inside my kitchen right now. We will be heading outside shortly, but first let me show you what we need to make this meal. So let me get out of the light here. Let me show you what we got. First, you need a salad, All right? So we got uh, about three and a half, four cups of spinach and arugula salad right there. The asparagus in the background, don't mind that. You're not gonna use that today. You're going to need, let's see if I can make sure I can see it here. Uh, you are going to need, there it is, strawberries, hard with that light on there, strawberries, blueberries, and a little bit of cheese. Cheese, totally optional for you. I like the cheese though, pretty cool. And then we are going to use this raspberry uh, walnut vinaigrette. You could use Caesar salad dressing, get something on the lighter side. Lighter side's good, right? Makes it happy. And then the star of the evening, right here, ladies and gentlemen, boom, check out that swordfish delicious so we have the swordfish there it is marinated it's been marinating for about 30 minutes or so let me get that camera back down kind of blinding me a little Whew. all right so our swordfish here has been marinating in a little bit of olive oil and uh, lemon juice and then garlic powder just a little bit and mint so fresh mint leaves garlic powder lemon juice a little olive oil and it's been uh, marinating in that for about how long did I say? About 30 minutes, right? So yeah, that's how long that's been cooking. It looks awesome. It smells amazing. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so here's what you want to do with swordfish. You don't want to leave this unattended on the grill unless you're really used to cooking it because it cooks extremely fast, as in like three, I can't talk, apparently three or four minutes per side. So that's it, right? So we're going to stay out there and we're going to make sure that we, uh, we get the sucker going as good as we can. So we're going to prep our salad beforehand so we can stay out there and chat and make sure we're set. Again, as I said, the grill is preheated so we're set. So we have our salad here and here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take our strawberries I'm just topping them, cut the top off. Hopefully if you can see what I'm doing. And I cut the strawberries in half and then I'm just chunking them in little, um, little smaller pieces. So it's almost like 
you're really cutting them into eight pieces. So cut them in half, just like that, boom. And then just cutting them up a little more so we get some nice chunks in our salad. Now some people aren't a huge fan of fruit in their salads. Um, that's okay if you're not, that's okay. Um, any type of salad works. You could, you know, also choose a, you know, have um, asparagus, right? It's in season right now, awesome summertime things, uh, early summer, late spring. Uh, thing you, vegetable it's called, you can have that vegetable with you if you want. Um, or anything else, really, that works for you. I just thought it'd be fun to have a little summery salad, that's a little big piece there, with it. Okay, so we got our salad with the fresh cut, obviously you just saw me cut them, strawberries. And we're gonna throw our blueberries in, whew, like that. And here's what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our raspberry vinaigrette. Now if you're watching your intake of this, if you're doing the 21 day fix, make sure you measure it out so you know exactly how much 21 day fix uh, those container systems, it's all about portion sizes. So you don't measure like, oh I can only have so much, uh, like so many calories of this, it's portion. So uh, measure out yourself the portion of uh, vinaigrette that you're allowed. Um, I'm not following that exactly, but I have it down somewhat here. So we're gonna do three light passes. I like a light coating on my salad. And I'm taking my fork and my clean hand here, my fork, my spoon, and just kind of mixing it up here gently. There we go. Just letting that vinaigrette gently cover everything. So nice and easy. Don't get crazy. And you can see it has a nice little sheen to it now. So that means the, the vinaigrettes covered it nicely. You can always add more, less. You could use other um, salad dressings that you like. As I said, Caesar, look for something um, that is, you know, vinaigrette's gonna be healthier, olive oil based, things like that. Um, Robert, I like avocados with strawberries in my salad. Oh man, that would be amazing. Put avocados on there. Delicious. I did not think of that today. I wish I did. That would be amazing. So we're gonna prep our salad bowls here. So I have one for Katie and one for myself here. Right? Blue shirt, blue bow. It's pretty awesome. So, you know, like the ocean, swordfish. I don't know, I came up with that before the show. I know it was lame, but you know, just go with me for a little bit here. Get it roughly half there. Why does she have so much more fruit than I do? That's wrong. I want more fruit. And I need a little more. I was generous. Okay. There we go. Now it's around roughly half. Beautiful. And now we're set to go cook our swordfish. Let me just wash my hands off real quick. We're gonna head outside. Don, yeah, that's gonna be delicious. I can't wait to try it. Mm -mm -mm. So I just uh, got home uh, right after school today. Had to go shopping, get the fresh swordfish. So it's not even frozen. It's gonna be amazing. And the storm was rolling in the house here, so or rolling in, and I had to cut the lawn. So I was like hurrying up, trying to get everything set, mowing the lawn, and then the storm came. I finished mowing the lawn, but. Obviously, the storm didn't wait till after our, our, the cooking show. It didn't realize how important this show is. So, the sun's out now, because it's Wisconsin, and it's weird. We're gonna see what happens when we get out there. Hopefully it's not raining. So, don't mind me, we're just gonna move the camera a little bit here. You get to travel through my house. Hey, look, there I am. Isn't that a scary view, folks? Scary, scary. All right, salad stuff's good. Kitty's gonna make sure the cats don't eat it. And you're gonna follow me outside. So we're going through the house. See, look, oh, it's so beautiful. Oh. All right, outside we go here. The screen door, Barnabas is coming in, Vladimir's staying, oh, no, hey. he's deciding, Vladimir can't decide, see, there's Vladimir, say hi Vlad, hi, okay, he's kind of, he's like, I don't know about you guys, you're special Spencer, okay, so as I mentioned, let me get down to your level here, so as I mentioned, the uh, oven, <laughs> the grill is preheated, it's about a medium high heat, so it's at about 400 degrees right now, uh, so you're gonna want to let the, they, I can't talk, let me try, let me try that again, go reverse. Okay, you're gonna want the swordfish to cook for about three or four minutes on each side. You only wanna flip it once, that's gonna help keep it juicy, help keep it amazing. Uh, that goes with any fish, really any meat, really, if you can. Um, so you're cooking it. So you wanna be very vigilant. When it starts cooking and you see it starting to cook about halfway through, then you're gonna flip it. All right, so you gotta want to watch it carefully. Again, this stuff cooks fast. So I think I've said enough times, you get the point. All right, we're going to take some of the mint leaves off. So here's one swordfish. Got some mint leaves on. Place it right there. Got a smaller one here, nice little piece there. So this is just shy of 
16 ounces. I think it's like 14 ounces of swordfish for the two of us, roughly split in half. So what I'm doing here, let's move you down so you can see a little better. There you go. So all I did is I put the mint leaves on top to help out a little bit. Now the extra juice that I have of the olive oil and lemon juice, just letting that go right up on top. Okay, now we're gonna start our timer. I'm gonna say they've been on here for, that's more about the smartwatches, isn't it? Isn't that fun? Woohoo! Timer. And yep, stopwatch, there we go. All right, so they've been on for about 30 seconds or so, and we're gonna let them cook for about three or four minutes on each side. So as we're letting these suckers cook, I'm gonna move up here so I could set up a little straighter. Again, let me know what you think about this light on here. It's a different lighting, uh, you know, lighting element on my phone. So we're able to get a cleaner, clearer image. Let me know what you think. Put it in the comments below, whether it's on YouTube or Facebook. Love to let me know. Uh, curious about that. We're outside, there's wind. Sorry if you get a little wind noise on there. Um, okay, so other quick things. It is um, late to spring here. It's early, you know, mid-May, it's uh, May 15th as I'm recording this. And the fishing season is starting to take off here like crazy. Um, I'm super excited. School, I have three more weeks left of school and then I'm out fishing like constantly. As much as I can to get out there and chase some fish, I cannot wait uh, to, to head out. So as I'm thinking about this and as I'm planning my adventures, you know, I'm going to Louisiana for the Johnson uh, for uh, Intro Louisiana series and all these other places, I'm so excited to, to fish all, for so many different things. Smallmouth, northerns, walleye, redfish, flounder, um, you know, specks, all that good stuff. So my question for all of you is what is your favorite uh, fish to fish for, right? I know a lot of you are kayak fishermen like me. Some of you are just fishermen. Some of you don't fish at all and that's cool. Um, but curious, what is your favorite uh, fish to fish for? I'm curious. Let me know. And where's your favorite place to go fishing? Love to know. All right, they've been on for about a minute and a half. We're about halfway there, right? So it takes a little bit of time, but we got it. We're good. This time you can reflect on life. You think about how your day went, the good things, the bad things, all that good stuff. Think about where you're gonna fish next. That's what I'm thinking about. Can't wait. We'll be heading out on um, Saturday fishing. That'll be good. It's early time. We've got a concert Friday. That coming up. Okay, enough of this. Let's see. Two minutes. All right, we got about another minute and a half here. So I usually like waiting until it's about three and a half before I flip them. Again, depends on the thickness of your steak. So, you know, um, another question for you is what's your favorite fish to eat? What are your favorite fish to fish for? What's your favorite fish to eat? Put it in the comments below. I'd love to know. We're gonna check on these guys. Oh, they're looking good. Let me bring you down so you can see them a little bit here. We'll get you real close. So you can really see what they look like there. There we go. Mm, mm, mm. Starting to get the nice grill marks on them. It's gonna be delicious. I cannot wait. I can't wait, it's gonna be so delicious. Mm -mm. Okay, close it up. My grill's old, ignore the rust. It's old, but it still works and it's amazing. You know, if Weber or Brinkman or, you know, anybody who wants to um, sponsor the Jones Inca Fit Cooking Show, I'd love to have your grill on here. Let me know, hit me up, that'd be awesome. Also, uh, you know, if you know any companies that are interested in sponsoring you know, a live cooking show, Healthy Eating with me, a crazy personality who struggles at talking at times, let me know. I'd love to have them be part of this. I see Katie in the background making a lot of weird faces at me. It's quite fun. She makes fun of me all the time. What are we looking at here? Three minutes, 10 seconds. All right, we're about ready to flip, and then we're gonna get going. So we got the spatula. We're ready to show it who's boss. We're ready to flip, but we're gonna see the amazing grill lines on here. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you? I, it, all right, let's flip. All right, looking good. So it's starting to sweat a little bit on the side here. Let me bring you in so you can see it. Just sweat a little bit. Try not to burn my phone in the process. You see that's starting to turn white there. Back one's going. Let me get you all placed. Get you down there. There we go. And now let's flip it. So you want to scrape underneath. So you don't get too eager. There we go. Flip it. I'm flipping it right with the mint leaves still on it. Same with this back one. Helps if you pre... Uh, Free oil, you're great, but that's okay. Look at those grill lines. It doesn't get any better than that. Let me restart this thing. There we go. Boom. 
check that out. Delicious, yummy. All right, we're gonna cover it. Hey, Kate, could you bring me out that plate, please? That white plate in there that I have? All right, forgot my plate to plate them. No, it's okay, we're gonna make it. Sorry, oh, thank you, Katie. What would you do without me? What would I do without her? I don't know, not have a plate, I guess. Amongst many other things, clean house, cooking, oh. treats, all that, all the crazy things, you know. She's awesome, I love her to death. She does so many awesome things for the show, helps me be cl clean, healthy, all that good stuff. And now she's waving her hands. I don't know what that means, it's, it's crazy. Anyway, so going off with this, we got a, a, another about two minutes here before we're done with the swordfish on this side. We already asked you some crazy questions, which is awesome. And now I um, just really wanna talk about your mindset. Uh, so a little motivational stuff here, right? So as we're waiting. Uh, if you watch my personal page, Spencer Jones, if you're not friends with me, friend me, it's okay. I'll be your friend, that's all good. So friend me up and uh, and yeah, then you get to go check out what I talked about earlier this week, your mindset. And that was, you have to get your mindset right. I guess it was last week really. But you have to get your mindset right. It determines how your whole day goes, right? So you could be having uh, you know, something coming up uh, in your life or an event or maybe this group of people that are just wearing on you, right? It's not, you're just depressed, you're thinking uh, negatively about the whole situation. But you gotta switch your mindset. You gotta think, okay, what's a positive in this? What can I do to improve? What can I do to get better? You can control them. You can't control what they're going to do or how they're gonna behave or react, but you can control what you're doing. And if you could switch your mindset to say, all right, I'm gonna look for the positives in the day. I'm going to try this, or I'm gonna bring this energy here instead of the negativity, right? I'm bringing more of the positive energy as opposed to the negative energy. All of a sudden, you will affect and change the people around you and how they perceive things and how they uh, go after their goals and their dreams in life. Now, I'll tell you, for me, it's a huge difference when being a teacher, when I'm with my students and I um, just kind of blah, I'm not really high energy, but I'm not low energy, I'm just there, right? Or I guess more low energy than anything. It's noticeable, the students don't sing as well. They don't um, interact nearly as well as when I have a lot of energy, and I'm very enthusiastic, and I'm really gun ho over what we're doing. If I'm that way, it changes everything. And they're engaged, they're singing better, they're having more fun, they're learning more. It's such a mindset, and this works really well as teachers. You hear Barnabas barking in the background. Here, let me let him out. He wants to come out. So that works really well as teachers, but also no matter any type of business you're in, doesn't matter. You need that mindset right because that's going to change everybody around you and just your whole way of living. So try it. Try changing mindset. It's easier said than done. It takes time. It takes a little bit of work, but it is so worth it. You will definitely see changes. And when you do, let me know. Um, put it in the comments, message me, hit me up on Facebook or Instagram and say, hey, Spencer, did you know this? Or wow, this really, really worked. I'd love to know. Let me know. Tag me in it, Spencer Jones, or Jones in a good fit in it. That'd be awesome. Don't forget that challenge is still up from the last uh, two weeks here. Haven't seen anybody, any of you do it yet. Make a recipe from the Jones in a good fit live cooking show library that we have on YouTube. Links below. So check that out. Go to our YouTube page, check out the whole library of live cooking shows. Make one of the recipes and share either a picture of it or a video of you making it and take me or Jones and get fit in it. It'll be awesome. Okay, it has been four minutes. They are done. We're shutting off the, the uh, stove, oven, the grill. It's called the grill. I do know this. Really, I do. Okay, so we're gonna take it off here, that one. Now don't mind me, I'm just gonna shut off the gas here really quick, because if I don't, I forget. Are you like me that way? I don't know. I, I don't turn it off now, I forget it. Almost, almost, there we go. Perfect. All right, time to head inside. Katie, could you do me a favor, please? I'm making her work this episode. <laughs> I'm so nice, or mean, one of the two. Could you please take these three things? She's taking swordfish, okay. She's got one of the things. I saw the dirty dishes, that's all good. So Katie, wanna say hi to the camera? No. No, she doesn't wanna say hi to you all. You're so friendly though. Why doesn't she wanna say hi? Well, so hi. sad. Oh, she Look says hi, but she doesn't want, okay, she doesn't wanna be in the show, that's fine. All right, here we go. Oh, it might've caught you in a quick glimpse. All right, 
So here we go. Back in our kitchen, from the grill, we have the fresh swordfish, freshly cooked from our amazing grill, right? Four minutes each side, three and a half, four minutes. And we're done. All you have to do, I don't even cut these open, I let um, Katie and myself enjoy just seeing the juices just come out. Mm, so good. So you're just gonna plate them, get the nice crisscross pattern on it like that. Even a little bit of juice left on the plate. There we go. And if you want, if you wanted some cheese, sprinkle it on your salad. Probably should have done that before I put the swordfish on, that's okay. A little bit of cheese, put a little more cage, like cheese, who doesn't? And there you go, folks. Your wonderful, delicious, super easy grilled swordfish on a bed of arugula and spinach salad. Mm -mm -mm, with some tasty fruit like blueberries and strawberries. Oh yeah, folks, that's it right there. Go get some, go get healthy, go get fit. Be happy, be healthy. Take on this challenge, folks. I wanna see you make one of these recipes. Share it up, tag me, Spencer Jones, or Jones and Get Fit. I'd love to see what you create. Right now, I'm gonna enjoy this tasty dinner. Let me go get off camera first. Have a great night, folks.